name is Kuti. We are at India Advantage Summit 2021. And today is day one dedicated to tech for sustainability. I have Mr. Jean here with me. Hi, Mr. Jean. Pleased to meet you. It's good to have you here and to have the open speech to the people. So um, happy to share the, some insights maybe. Thank you so much for your time. And we were listening to you. And what really stuck with me was that you mentioned smart city development has failed before because we did not understand the values of the people involved and we didn't give them a platform to voice themselves. So could you elaborate a little bit on that? I think the first question is, um, what is the really the job to be done for a smart city? And for that, you have to answer a few questions like, what is the, what's the, what's the ad advantage of it if, if we have a uh, uh, smart city? So if we don't connect smart tech with the values of people, we will fail. One simple answer is um, we've got a, a huge informal settlement in Nairobi called Kibera. And uh, in Kibera, we have this problem of flying toilets. That means um, whatever you normally would put in a toilet, you throw out on a plastic bag. So when you come around then with smart sensors, it won't help the problem. But if you come around with smart toilets, it will. Smart sewage, it will. So connect it to the basic needs to the people first, solve this major problem there, and then move on to the high-tech stuff. So I think this is the main question is, what is the real job to be done for the people? And it's not what the techies think, it's what the people think. So uh, what we have to have is involve the community into real discussions, not like uh, performer discussions, but co-develop the smart city developments. Yeah, so that's where we set our priorities straight, I think. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Jean.